What's up? Roll the intro. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jersey Concept video. We're gonna do it this time a new way, okay? We're gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna to react to these jerseys, haven't seen them before, but at the end, by popular request, I'm going to rank them. So the way I'm gonna do that is after I see all these jerseys, I'm just gonna take a 15 minute break by myself, go through the process of ranking them, and I will reveal the one to 31 rankings very quickly at the end, okay? So I, I, I submit to your I submit to your request. I know people want to see it, so if that makes the video a little bit longer. I do apologize, but uh, I think there's probably some value there. Let's get into this, okay? The, I'm I'm super excited about this. I've seen two in in this in this list here. We're gonna take a look at Saturn Styles uh, designs. You might have seen them on Twitter, Instagram, maybe. Uh, I've seen two of them. I've vetted them. They look good. I'm excited to see the other ones. If you want to take your hand, or do you want to, what? That doesn't make sense. If you want to get if you want to try your hand at designing some jerseys, you can go to sportstemplates.net and download basically whatever template you want on there, whether it's a hockey jersey, an arena, a goalie helmet, a uniform, whatever you want to design, you can design it on that site or using a template on that site. Use code post to post and save 10% on whatever template you want. And uh, yeah, if you got Photoshop, maybe thinking about getting Photoshop, you got to pick up one of these templates and give your shot. At designing some concepts because if you are watching this video chances are you love jerseys like me let's get into this let's react to <sighs> some jerseys i am excited it's been a while since i filmed one of these and uh let's get her going so this should be in alphabetical order if i'm not mistaken yep anaheim's number one so let's bring it up on the screen here okay so i'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger for myself all right who okay Good start. I think this is a strong start. So we've got a home jersey and an away jersey here. So this ranking automatically is going to be difficult for me because I have to kind of judge both jerseys in the same ranking. So I think I prefer, hmm, I think I prefer the white one. There's no orange in this, which isn't, isn't a bad decision. I do like that. The, the logo, I think the way it's colorized is pretty great. I like the font choice for the numbers. I like the way the laces are done. Fine with the stripes along the bottom. I would say this is a pretty safe, in a good way, uh, jersey concept. I like this one. Next, Arizona. Okay, I'm, I'm down with this. So we're using typical Arizona Coyotes uh, textures, I guess you could say. I, that black one, the white one's nice, but the black one, just seeing it in black without maybe some of the other typical Arizona colors, using a little deeper red maybe than a, a burgundy. Shoulder patch colorized a, a little bit differently. I feel like maybe the texture along the arms that split the arms and color in the bottom of the jersey, maybe a little bit too thick. That's what she said, but it, it does look actually pretty good. I, I like this one. Boston's next. Okay, so here's the thing. This is very close to typical Boston Bruins concept and, and jerseys. I'm fine with that, but the difference here is the removal of the spoked B, which is a really good decision in my, in my opinion, and just putting the B in there. It feels very college or academic. It is not my favorite jersey I've ever seen. It's not even close to my favorite jersey I've ever seen but I do appreciate the uh, decision here. I think this would be a totally acceptable, maybe the black one specifically, would be a totally acceptable, and the white one too, fine, whatever, uh, third or alternate jersey. I don't, I think this would look fine as the main jersey, home and away, but I think people would prefer to keep that spoked wheel. I think I am in the mi minority when I say that I don't like that. Next is Buffalo. Oh, son, we are going Boys, we're going back. Oh, snap. Dude. Okay, so we got the goat head. I know it's not a goat, okay? It's just a common saying. You don't have to tell me in the comments. I know it's, I know it's not a goat. Okay, I know. That's freaking amazing. That's awesome. 
I, I'm 100% okay with the yellow and the blue that the Buffalo Sabres use. I think it's tr a tr tremendous color combination. Not a massive fan of their current logo, but if they brought this in as a... If they brought this in as a primary home and in a primary away and used their current jersey or a variation of it with the blue and the yellow as a secondary or third jersey alternate, whatever you want to call it, that would be that would be awesome. And even if you wanted to flip it and keep the ones they have now and use one of these as a as an alternate jersey, that would be that would be awesome. Because this is they're paying homage to some of the original colors and graphics that the Sabres used. Now, Sabres fans, I know that not all of you liked this this uh period in history for, for not because of what happened or what didn't happen, but you're just not a fan of them using non-traditional colors. I understand that, but I don't care because I really like this. No offense. I personally really like this. What's next? Calgary? Oh. Listen. This is... Uh, listen. I appreciate the boldness. Okay? There's not enough of that in Jersey Concepts. It's okay to play it safe. It works most of the time. I appreciate it all the time. But to be bold... I feel like it's a rare trait when it comes to designing jerseys. This is bold. I, uh, no offense, Sadner Styles, I genuinely do not like the dark one. The white one, I think I can get on board with. The flames along the bottom are quite distracting though. But the way that you've done the stripes on the arms is some of the best stripe design in relation to numbers on the arms in any concept I've ever seen. I absolutely love that, specifically on the white one. I would love to see that white jersey with the flames maybe a little bit smaller on the bottom. Maybe with not so much stroke of yellow on the flame, the red flames, but with the current Calgary Flames logo instead of that one. But uh, interesting. I like the boldness. Carolina's next. All right, so this is, this is exactly kind of what I would expect to see from the Carolina Hurricanes. No real surprises here. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Chicago. Okay, kind of the, feel like the same. Uh, the white jersey is very similar to what they use now. Obviously not identical, but similar. The black one. I want a Chicago Blackhawks jersey to come out that uses black as the primary color. The red one's fine, whatever. But a black one, they've used it in the past. It looks awesome. I would love to see it come back. The striping here is done interesting. The red stripe is the thickest. The green and the orange are a little bit less thick, and the yellow is the thinnest. Not that that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just pointing it out. I think this is... Uh, when you think about what team you're designing, say you're doing a Minnesota Wild jersey, you know, I think you have a little bit more liberty to do maybe some bold designs or make some intense decisions. With a team like the Chicago Blackhawks or the Red Wings, these are original six teams. You kind of don't want to reinvent the wheel. This, is, this isn't something that needs reinvented. It's, it needs something that needs tweaked. And I like the tweaks here. Colorado. Oh, snap. Yo. Okay, let's think about this. I will say that the lack of burgundy loses points for me because the Colorado Avalanche color combination is top-notch in the league. However... This is amazing. This is amazing. You guys know I like that logo. Okay, it is no surprise if you're familiar with the channel, any previous rankings, Colorado is usually always pretty high on my list. I really like this. I like this a lot. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. Columbus. Okay. Very similar to some concepts I've seen in the past, which is not a bad thing. I like the direction here. My favorite part of the jersey, 100% the stars along the sleeves, the bottom of the sleeves. That makes the jersey. Totally makes the jersey. How many times have we seen kind of almost generic striping like this on whatever team with whatever colors? But just the implementation of those little stars on the bottom of the sleeve. Thumbs up. Dallas is not... Dallas. Huh. So using some similar 
Jersey styles from their history, which is a really good thing. I'm trying to decide which one I like more. Usually I go with the darker one because I prefer darker jerseys, but I'm not going to lie. White jerseys have been on my radar recently, and that's a nice white jersey. I will say, however, that I think I would prefer this with a different logo on it. Maybe that original, not no, sorry, not original, but the logo that they used on their jerseys during this time in their jersey history. Although this doesn't look bad. Detroit is next. Yeah, this one's going to be a miss for me, strictly on logo. Kind of like Chicago. Team you don't really want to change too much with the Red Wings. It's such a classic, iconic logo to reinvent it, even if you have that stylized D on there that they've used kind of in the past. Uh, I, I appreciate the effort here. I understand the relationship, but I feel like it, the balance is off a little bit. Maybe if you had a, a symmetrical wing on the other side, even though that's kind of a no-no because that's not how the current logo is, but they are called the Wings, not the Detroit Red Wing. They're the Detroit Red Wings, so maybe they should have two wings on here. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be a miss for me. Florida, yes. Going back to the original style of logo. Maybe not identical to the original logo, but style. I like how the stripes on the arms are slanted, but meets up with the stripes along the, along the bottom of the jersey. I don't know if I like the white one. I think their white jersey now is 100% the best white jersey in the league. So I'll say no, no to the white one, but I'll say yes, yes. To the dark one i like that dark one la that's what i like get that purple in there it's a, it's similar to a jersey that they've used in the past uh the crown logo or a variation of it is looks to be very similar to their their original logo which is fine i think I'm trying to decide if yellow would complement this anyway to bring back that other original color, but I think you made the right decision here by leaving it only black, silver, and purple. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. I don't love them, but they're nice. Minnesota. Oh, snap -a Holy crap. Whoa. This is very academic. This is very old school. The numbers on the shoulders gives it that academic feel as well as almost a football vibe. I love this. I love it. Absolutely love it. I don't even know which one I prefer. From a jersey collector standpoint, to have a jersey like this in your collection that's totally unique with the striping on the arms, excluding the Montreal Barber Pole jersey, excluding maybe some other ones that are have hints of it, this would be an awesome jersey collector's uh, jersey. Well done. Montreal, my favorite team. White one, do like. Blue one, do like. Don't love either. I've seen a lot of Montreal Canadiens concepts recently because of the contest that's going on right now. Uh, if you're watching this, there's probably still time. When, when am I? Hold on just a second. I need to see when I'm releasing this. I'm filming this on the 24th. You will see this on the 27th. So yes, you do have time to enter the contest. It is, if you just go into the, uh, main productions, pro Sports production channel and search contest, you'll find it. Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of co concepts like this recently. Not a bad thing. Good thing. I do like these. Nashville's next. <sighs> kind of getting academic vibes too. Again, from this, I think it's the numbers on the shoulder that's doing it for me. The stripe in behind is a really good decision because I think that logo that they have have in their history, recent history, it feels out of place or feels like it, it's like it floats a little bit when it doesn't have other elements behind it or near it. So I do... I do like this. I wonder though how it would look if the striping stopped and actually formed the exterior, like instead of the striping touching it, if there were just like a little white gap and then that stripe matched the edge of, of each side and kind of went around. So the logo wasn't on the stripe, but it, it was close. I like these. New Jersey, man, I love New Jersey concepts on black. It's, 
my new favorite thing, I think. The white one, I th it's not really a miss. I'm just a big fan of their white jerseys, so not bad. I just prefer the current one. The black one is nice. Maybe I'd like to see a shoulder patch on there. Because of how generic the stripes are on the arm and in the bottom of the jersey, I kind of feel like it's maybe a little bit too plain. So if you add some spice and life onto the shoulders with some, some kind of patch, I think it would really help. Uh, the Islanders. Okay. I think typical Islanders fans don't like concepts using other logos other than the current main or original logo. So maybe Islanders fans might be a little bit critical of this one. But as a hockey fan, as a non-traditional Islanders fan, I really enjoy this one. This is good. I just like the fact that the stripes on the arms are tilted just a little bit. I love the collar. This is nice. I like that. I like that dark one better than the white one. The white one's nice though. Rangers. Heck yeah. You guys know I like that logo. Striping on the arms. The way that it's done with a bit of a tilt, it almost looks like a chevron. Decent. I think I like the white one more. I don't know. They're both nice. I like them. I think the blue is maybe a little bit too bright, though. I think if we went back to that, the blue that they used during this time where they used a logo that's a little darker, almost like an ocean, deep ocean blue, I think that might look a little bit better. Uh, Oilers. Okay, so we got some more orange going on then. Than typical. The striping, the way it's done, is 100% better than the current jerseys. The logo itself, I really like the subtle change. This is, this is a decent design. Ottawa. Yo. Man. Holy crap. Holy crap. I absolutely love that white jersey. The black one is fine. We've seen similar versions of that. Not with that logo on it, but the white one. That is a jersey that we need. As jersey collectors, we need this logo. Put whatever, or we need we need this jersey. Put whatever logo you want on the jersey. I don't even care at this point. But a white version of this jersey with the striping in, be, in behind, Dude, sign me up. I'll pay full price. That is awesome. I, lo I love that. I love it. Philadelphia. Okay, so this looks very typical Philadelphia concept. Don't really have anything negative to say here. Don't really have anything super positive to say. I will say that, and again, sometimes I say this in videos and I shouldn't because I'm, just, I'm really just thinking out loud. This isn't a scripted video. My mind sees things that maybe other people don't. When I see that the way that this, the, the shoulders form and that line comes around, whether it's the white line uh, on the dark jersey or the black line on the white jersey, the way that that's formed, if you think about the Liberty Bell and the top of the bell, the way that that shape kind of comes down like this, I feel like this jersey is almost a representation of the top of the Liberty Bell. Now I do these reaction videos, not specifically purposely, not knowing anything about the designs, because I think that's more genuine. If someone told me the reason behind the design, then it kind of ruins it for me. The part of the fun about it is to look at the jersey and figure out what it means without being told what it means. Because when teams come out with jerseys now, they throw it up on Twitter and you get an image. That's basically all you get. And then you have to find the subtle details yourself. So again, maybe that's not what it actually <laughs> represents. Maybe Saturn Styles wasn't going for that. And that's just kind of something that my mind saw. But to me, that's a subtle little uh, nice touch. Pittsburgh, Penguins, heck yeah. Yes, early 90s logo. That's a big win. Striping is fine. Striping is fine. Definitely getting some Pittsburgh Steelers out of here, which makes sense. Not a bad thing. I think I'd like to see the white jersey maybe have a shoulder patch on there. Maybe the black one too. It maybe feels like a, maybe a little bit empty. Just, but just a subtle sort of shoulder patch, not a, not a giant one. San Jose. This one's going to be a miss for me. I think it's a, I think it's a little bit too gimmicky, and I don't mean that in, a, in, a, in an offensive way. 
I just think it's a little bit too specialty jersey or practice jersey or pre-game warm-up auction jersey. The pattern in the black one is fine. The waves in the white one, I think it's a little bit too... I know Cheesy has a negative... That word has a negative vibe to it, but I don't really mean it in an offensive negative way. I just It is a bit cheesy. St. Louis. Hmm. How do I feel about this one? No yellow. Some silver in there. I don't know how this would be for a current... A current uh, primary home in a way. I think St. Louis fans would miss the yellow. So I think either the dark one or the white one would be a great alternate jersey. Tampa. Okay, not the best Tampa concepts I've seen. 100% not the worst. I think this is this is acceptable because... In, me, in my eyes, I don't like the current Tampa Bay Lightning jerseys. Whether it's the white one or the dark one, I find them boring. They look like the Toronto Maple Leafs jerseys with, jerseys with a different logo on it. So going back to the black here with, you know, some there's some lightning bolts. There's some life in it. It's, it's, it's not bad. I, I don't love it, though. Toronto or Toronto. Toronto. That white one's very similar to a jersey that they've used in recent history, which is not a bad thing. The blue version of that is awesome. I really like that. I think I think Leafs fans would like this too. Vancouver. What is this? What the heck is this? This is freaking amazing. Oh my god. Holy crap. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. I'm personally a big fan of that, that 90s jersey with the skate. So I love the color implementation here. But using the current logo, recolored with those old, uh, the, the 90s colors... But throwing in even a more traditional logo as a shoulder patch on top. This is amazing. I am not a fan of that logo. It's okay. But recolored on this jersey. Holy crap. Damn. I love this. I love it. Vegas. Okay, I think it's too much red in the dark one for me. The white one, absolutely adore it. That's an awesome. That's an awesome white jersey. This is a real. This would be a really good alternate jersey. I don't think that they would ever change to use that secondary logo as their primary logo, but I can 100% see them using it on a third jersey or an alternate jersey, and that white one would be a perfect alternate jersey in my opinion. That's that's awesome. That the dark one a little bit too red for me. Washington. Nice. I love the classic logo on the shoulder. The striping is subtle and nice. Using that the Eagle logo with the Capitol building in the bottom. This is a very clean version of a Washington Capitals jersey. And the subtle little detail that makes this jersey amazing is the laces around the neck or in the front of the neck. The fact that they are colored differently to match the United States flag and the team colors. Super smart. Winnipeg, which is the last one. Okay, good. Very similar to some kind of styles that they're using now, throwing back to different jerseys and stuff for uh, specialty games and whatever. So, I, yeah, this one makes sense. I like this one. Okay, now I'm going to... It'll jump to me getting ready to rank these, but I'm going to take a break and, and rank these properly. I'll be right back. All right, I've just spent the last 15 minutes ranking these. And I have come to a conclusion. I've come to a decision. I've ranked them 1 to 31, my favorite to least favorite. We're going to go back through them in reverse order, 31 to 1. Here's my ranking. Number 31, the Calgary Flames. I put them 31 because the one in the red, the dark jersey, just not a big fan of. I'm not going to say a lot of criticism. I'm not going to repeat a lot of criticism in these rankings. I'm basically just going to give them to you. I might say a couple things, but generally just going to go through them quick. Number 30, Detroit. Number 29, 
San Jose Sharks. Number 28, Philadelphia Flyers. Number 27, the Boston Bruins. Number 26, the Carolina Hurricanes. Number 25, the New Jersey Devils. 24, but the Vegas Golden Knights. The white one, elite. The red one brought it down some. Number 23, the St. Louis Blues. Struggling to get used to this one. I missed the yellow. 22, the Montreal Canadiens. Decent. 21, the LA Kings. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Number 20, the Islanders. The more I looked at it, I felt like maybe those stripes could kind of come off the arms and maybe it would work in behind the logo. Number 19, the Anaheim Ducks. The first jersey that we looked at. It's pretty decent, but I don't love it. Number 18, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Clean. Number 17, the Edmonton Oilers. Decent. Number 16, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Number 15, the Chicago Blackhawks. Number 14, the Toronto Maple Leafs. 13, Florida. The more I look at these, the more I like them. Number 12, Arizona. Number 11, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Again, the more I looked at this, the more I liked it. Number 10, the Washington Capitals. Number 9, the Nashville Predators. I think this is a sleeper in this set. This is a sleeper. Number 8, the Colorado Avalanche. Heck yeah. Number 7, the New York Rangers. Looks good. Number 6, the Winnipeg Jets. The more I looked at this, the more I appreciated the subtle color in here. The, the, the navy blue with the light blue, accented with the white and the, and the silver. Looks amazing. Number six, the Buffalo Sabres. This needs to happen, Buffalo. It needs to happen. Number four, the Dallas Stars. Again, the more I looked at this, the more I thought, you know what? That logo is not too bad. It actually looks pretty great with that jersey. Maybe a shoulder patch, maybe not. But the more I look, the more I look at this, the more I like it. Number three, the Ottawa Senators. That white jersey is unbelievable. Number two, the Minnesota Wild. These are some of the best, if not the best, Minnesota Wild concepts I've ever seen. Number one, the Vancouver Canucks. Not even a question. Wasn't even a contest. The others are nice. I love a lot of the others. But as a collection, side by side here with the Vancouver Canucks, this is awesome. This is great. Saturn Styles, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. I am. I really am. Great job. Good good work. Like, legit. I'm excited to see what you got in the future if you decide to make any more. And if you guys want to make any, feel free to go to sportstemplates.net. Use the code post post Pick up that template. Get Photoshop and try your hand at designing some jerseys. If you do do that, try not to be too similar to current jerseys. If you want to submit them to me, obviously, to, to, to view, to react, to rank, whatever. Uh, try not to have them too similar to current jerseys and... Um, yeah, do all 31 teams, and I'll, I'll, I'll take a look, and you can send me some samples. I'll take a look and and see if I want to do a video. So thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, these, these you know, this video gets requested a lot to me, for me to rank and, and react to, to, to concepts. You guys love these videos, and I really appreciate that. You know, that that's great to hear. It's great to see the views come in big on these videos. Um, biggest relative because <laughs> uh, we're still quite small here on YouTube, but having a lot of fun and uh, I'm having fun because of you guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button down below. And even more importantly, if you could like this video, it just helps with the algorithm, helps this video show up in other people's feeds. So if you've made it this far, I I'm almost positive. If you've made it this far, you probably like the video. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Adios guys. Wow. <laughs>